My next slide, I call it examples of image of linear map. Like I promised, the second class of the subspaces we have studied together, they will, they will fit exactly into the scheme of the image. So look at this. I'll start with, it will be rather abstract example, but you will see lots of benefit from that. I start with my vector space. Here's my quadruple. So vector space plus times field of scalars. And imagine I have a set. Imagine I have a set of vectors, finite set, fixed from my vector space. Okay, so I, again, I have a vector space and a fixed. Thank you. I have a vector space and a fixed set from that vector space. I have m vectors from that. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to define a map T from m tuples of scalars to my vector space V. And that's how I'm going to define this. If my x is the vector of m scalars from Fm, if x is an m tuple, then my T on x. then my t on x will be the vector like so. It will be the combination, it will be linear combination of my a vectors with the coefficients taken from the x m tuple, like this. That is the element of v, no question about that. And I insist that this is a linear map. Again, look, look at the definition of my linear map. It takes, L, it takes m tuples, and returns elements of my abstract vector space V. And that's how it does so. It takes the M tuple of coefficients and returns the linear combination of the vectors from the fixed set with the given coefficients from X. I claim that T is a linear map. And that's very important linear map, is in fact. Uh, why this is so? I have to test I have to test my two properties of the linear map. And here's my test. Property A, the one we discovered with, we discussed with you on Tuesday. Uh, what do I do is this. Let me take another M tuple, which I will call Y, with components Y1, Y2, and Ym. It's another M tuple. Let's just see what happens if I apply my T to the sum of these M tuples, X and Y. X from here, and Y from here. The sum of m tuples, when, you, when we add m tuples, we all know we just add the components. So the components of this new m tuple will be just y1 plus x1, x1 plus y1, x2 plus y2. So if I use this definition of the linear map, the result of this linear map will be this linear combination. First component of this vector times the a1 vector, second component of this vector times the a2 vector, plus many other components, that's the mth component, times the am vector. I can rearrange the terms here. I can combine all axes together. Here's a combination. All axes together. X1, A1, X2, A2, Xm, Am. And then I can combine all Ys together. Here's a combination. Y1, A1, Y2, A2, and Ym, Am. Individually, each bracket here, by the definition of T, is T of X and t of y. Here's my verification for the first property of a linear map. Similar argument will work for the second property of a linear map. If I compute t of lambda x, we all know how we scale a vector, how we scale m tuple. I'm sorry, we scale each component here. And I will use these components here now. So if I use the definition of t, that's how it will be. Lambda x1 a1 lambda x2 a2, lambda xm am, right? So I use the components of this vector, which are lambda x1, lambda x2, lambda xm, and I use them here in the definition of t. Now again, I do the rearrangement. I just take this common factor lambda as a common factor. Inside, what is left inside is x1 a1, x2 a2, xm am, and this bracket it's precisely the definition of the T action. So here we go. Here's my verification that the, this map T 
constructed like and that's quite arbitrary map you know you can alter the map by choosing different sets here of vectors it, choosing different set here will be different different map but every time it will be a linear map and now let's just analyze what will happen if I ask you what will be the image of such map remember the image of a linear map it's all possible values of that linear map in that case it means you will be altering these coefficients right you'll be running this x vector across all possible n tuples but you will keep this a vectors fixed when you run the coefficients and keep the vectors fixed you will reproduce span of the set s so you see this second class of the subspaces span subspaces they actually special special type of the image of a linear map with a specially crafted linear map And that's, that's a big advantage now. We now can approach those two big classes of subspaces with even wider, with even wider view, view, with even wider angle. One of them, one of them are just special cases of null subspaces, and the other one is special case of the image subspaces. Now, one extra comment on this slide, which is which I haven't opened yet, is this: if if this v, subs, v vector space, which you see when I presented everything on the slide so far, uh, I haven't said anything about the V. V was arbitrary vector space. But if this V by itself an n tuple, an n -tuple space, if you have this special, special, special case, then what I claim is this. This map which is sitting here, it will take even simpler form. It will be, again, matrix type. It will be, again, matrix type linear map where A matrix, it will be composed out of these vectors as columns. So it will be the matrix of size M, N row because each of them has N components. They come from Fn, from V, and M columns. In this, in this special case, it's a special case here. In this special case, image of T, of course, will be again span of S. It's from here. It's always like so. But in this special case, for this subs, for the span, we had other name, something I, already, I have introduced already. We call it the column space of the matrix A. So in that special case, the image of T will be the also known as column space of the matrix. So out of all, out of this three, this is the most general way of looking at things, as well as the null space is the most general, most general way of looking at the first class of the subspaces. And I strongly encourage you to see that classes every time you do something with the subspace, either of these classes, every time you do something with the subspaces.